Hello, well, this is Mrs. Bobby, and we're going to be talking about properties. Uh, now, this is the general properties video. We're going to break it down um, a little bit more soon enough. So, commutative property means that the order of the two numbers involved does not affect the value of it. Um, and it only applies to addition and multiplication. So if you're in my actual class, you need to make sure you're writing everything down that you see. So an example of commutative property with variables, variables would be like a plus b equals b plus a. This does not change. And as you can see, all we're doing is changing the order of the two letters. Now, what it would look like with multiplication could be something like uh, b times b equals b times b. And another example would be with numbers like 5 plus 3 equals 3 plus 5. These are all examples of commutative property. Now, sometimes we get a little sneaky with commutative property, and we could do something like this where we have 5 plus 6 plus 7 equals, and then they put parentheses around these, and then they do this, like 7 plus 6 plus 5, and the parentheses shift to the back. But if you notice, what's in parentheses is still the same. So this is a sneaky version of a commutative property because really this looks a lot like what we're going to be doing next, which is associative property. So associative property means grouping two or more numbers not does not affect the value. Now it only applies again to addition and multiplication. So this is what associative property would look like. And then I would put parentheses around the front and parentheses around the back. Now, if you notice, the things in parentheses did change. So we are associating with something different. So the parentheses are in the front. Now they are in the back. However, this does not affect its value. Uh, we know when we add three items, if you change the order of those three items, you're still going to get the same answer. Same thing with um, variables. You can do this with variables, but you can also do it with multiplication. So we could go like 6 times 7 times 9 equals, we could put parentheses around the front, 6 times 7 times 9, and we could put the parentheses around the back. And you're still going to get the same answer regardless with addition and multiplication. Distributed property involves distributing the number outside of a set of parentheses to the numbers inside the parentheses. And um, there's a couple of different ways to show this, but one way to show this would be something along this line. So we'd have 5 multiplied by 7 plus 4. And distributive property means I give the 5 to the 7 by multiplication. And so I would show it as 5 multiplied by 7 plus, and then I would give the 5 to the 4. So I'd have 5 times 4. So I gave this outside number to both the 7 by multiplication and also to the 4 by multiplication. Kind of like a mailman bringing mail to this house and then to this house. Another way of writing this a particular one is if we had the same thing again, this could be on this side of the equal sign, and this could be over here also. But you can also have this in parentheses. You could have this set up over here and then have see it like this. Some teachers do write it like that. And that's what distributed property looks like. You distribute, you give it to both parts. Identity property is a number which combines with other numbers without changing the value. Other names are like additive identity, multiplicative identity. These are other names for the identity property. The identity element for addition is zero. That means if I have five and I add nothing to it, I still have five, okay? 
Um, so we could do it with a letter B plus a zero still equals B, that being a zero, so you know. Um, and the identity element for multiplication is one because I could go five multiplied by one and I'm still going to get itself. So you can think about it like if the person, so you could have Susie plus nothing and we still have Susie, where if we have Susie and we times her by one, we still have Susie. Another way of looking at it. Now at the very, very bottom, I'm going to shift my dock cam. Zero property. The zero property um, is a use of zero times any number resulting in zero. So you would see something like this. Five times zero equals zero. That's zero property. Um, it's pretty cut and dry on that property. And as always, this is Mrs. Bobby. And I love math and I hope. And of course, we can't forget, but CrossFit. <laughs>